today. Intel's 14th Gen is surprisingly powerful. A new AMD GPU, NVIDIA just released three new GPUs, and the first Ryzen 8000 benchmarks are insane. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we finally get to see some real performance for Intel's next-gen CPUs. This story comes from a new benchmark in Geekbench, where you can see that Intel's upcoming 14600KF was tested. And as the leak suggested, this is a 14-core, 20-thread CPU with a 5.3GHz boost clock. When it comes to the performance, it got a single-threaded score of 2,794 and a multi-core score of 17,190. What's wild is that while the single-core saw a measly boost of 5.5% when compared to the 13,600K, the multi-core score is a whopping 17.2% faster. So Intel's 14-gen CPUs may be a much bigger performance boost than we thought. Of course, pricing will always remain a key factor, but if Intel can keep things relatively low, this could be a worthwhile upgrade, especially given the 14,700 parts are expected to get a boost in core count. Time, as always, will tell. Next up for today, a massive leak on a new AMD gaming GPU just dropped. But first, with the chip shortage mostly behind us, there's a new shortage in the industry, and that's a shortage of good software developers and hardware engineers, which means it's the perfect time to start your career in one of these fields. So start learning from the site that was made to teach the STEM field with today's sponsor. Brilliant, the place I always recommend because they teach me exactly how I learn, which is by getting you to do it yourself with fun and engaging puzzles, so you're actively learning instead of just memorizing the answer. Whether you want to learn about memory, neural networks, or just how your favorite technology works. But don't just take my word for it, because when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld right now, you'll get a 30-day free trial. So there's really no reason not to at least give them a try. I love them, and I know you will too. Plus, when you're ready for more, and you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you'll get 20% off. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermeld. Now back to the story, while the RX 7800 XT is essentially confirmed at this point, we still don't have much info on any of AMD's other GPUs. That is, until now. In a new EEC filing by ASRock, they further confirmed the leaks on AMD's RX 7800 XT in that it comes with 16 gigabytes of memory, but they also confirmed the RX 7700 XT as well. Here we see that the GPU is set to come with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, so the same as their 6700 XT. According to leaks so far, the 7700 XT is based on a cut down Navi32 silicon, with one of the four 6 nanometer MCDs disabled. So the chip would come with a 192-bit bus. Unfortunately, we don't have much more information on the 7700 XT, but as you can see, ASRock is planning to release three 7700 XT models and two 7800 XT GPUs. All in all, pricing will likely be the biggest factor as to whether AMD will compete well against Nvidia. Hopefully we can get some powerful GPUs at a great price. Next up, NVIDIA just unveiled a slew of new products at SIGGRAPH 2023 in LA. I'm talking a monster CPU, new GPUs, and more. First up, they announced a new version of their GH200 Super Chip, which was a surprise given the first version wasn't announced all that long ago. Still, this bad boy comes with a 72-core CPU along with a whopping 480 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory like the original. But unlike the original, it's paired with a pretty wild 100 141 gigabytes of HBM3E memory, which makes this the first chip to come with HBM3E. All in all, this bad boy gets 5 terabytes per second of GPU memory bandwidth. But the announcement doesn't stop there, as Nvidia also announced three new GPUs. First is the RTX 5000, which replaces the A5500 and is up to a whopping three times faster, so definitely a big upgrade in terms of performance. The RTX 5000 comes at 32 gigabytes of GDDR6 EEC memory, 12,800 CUDA cores, and a TDP of 250 watts. Next is the RTX 4500, which is set to replace the A4500 and apparently delivers 2.7 times the performance. That GPU comes with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 EEC memory and 7,680 CUDA cores. Finally is the RTX 4000, which is similar to the 4000 small form factor in that it comes with 6,144 cores 
gigabytes and 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 EEC memory. All in all, it's definitely a nice upgrade over their current lineup of workstation GPUs. The biggest question is really in terms of pricing, and while we don't know the exact prices, Video Cards lays out expectations, and let's just say they're not cheap. And lastly for today, the first benchmark for AMD's Ryzen 8000 CPUs just leaked. And all I can say is, wow. The news story was originally shared by Red Gaming Tech and later reported by PC Gamer. And believe it or not, we actually have scores for pretty much every CPU all the way up to their 16 core monster. So yeah, that obviously does mean we won't see a core increase next gen. But with scores like this, I don't think AMD will need one. Either way, let's just get right to it. Starting things off, the CPUs that were tested are apparently engineering samples, so things can get even better. In fact, it definitely sounds like they will get better, but I'll get to that in a second. As far as the benchmark, these were done on Cinebench R23, and they have been rounded, which is why the numbers are so even like you'll see in a second. Regardless, first up, we have the 6-core Zen 5 chip, which would likely be the Ryzen 5 8600X. And as you can see, it got a score of 17,000. Now, this one isn't too big when compared to last gen at around 11% faster, but as we get higher up, that difference changes drastically. Next is the 8 core part, which is around 15% faster. Then we have the 12 core part, which would likely be the 8900X, and it's right at 25% faster. Finally, as you can see right here from PC Gamer, the 16 core beast is nearly 30% faster than the current gen 7950X. And once again, these are reported early engineering samples. With that in mind, according to Red Gaming Tech source, Zen 5 is set to be a bigger upgrade over Zen 4 than Zen 3 was over Zen 2. So we're talking quite possibly AMD's biggest performance jump yet. Of course, things can always change behind the scenes, but given we're already getting upwards of a 30% performance increase with their 16 core part, AMD's next gen is looking like a serious winner. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's Ryzen 8000? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day!